Let's walk through the Twitter interface. We'll start by typing twitter.com in our browser. This will bring up the default view, assuming that your browser remembers your login credentials. Starting at the top from the left to right, there's a home button. If you ever get confused where you are within Twitter, click on this icon and you will come back to the default view. Please note that a narrow horizontal stripe will always be on the top and it will stay there for all Twitter screens. This makes navigation easier. In the middle of the screen is the main feed or display of all the tweets from folks you follow. They are sorted by the date and time of receipt with the most recent at the top. This is the bread and butter of Twitter, allowing you to consume information and interact with it. At the top of the feed, just below the menu stripe, there is a dialog box labeled What's Happening. By clicking on it, you invoke the interface to compose your tweets. This is the same interface you get by clicking the Tweet button in the upper right corner of the screen. The next option to the right of home is Moments. This section is devoted to the latest news in the form of many tweets on a particular subject. Navigation is very easy and you can explore the most current topics. In this example, we have today's news, election 2016, NFL, news, sports, entertainment, and fun. Twitter being Twitter tries to encourage you to share as much content as possible. Therefore, if you like the picture of this cute cat, all you have to do is to click on it, add some text, and then click Tweet to send it so it could be visible to all Twitter users. This tweet will show up on the list of tweets I've sent. To view a list of my own tweets, I click on Home. Your most recent tweet will be on the top. You can easily delete it if you want. Notifications will display all the tweets with your Twitter username or handle in it. It's an easy way to refer to all tweets that mention your name and you may want to respond to them. Otherwise, you will have to look for these tweets among many posts in your feed. I'm showing here all the tweets that have my handle or username as a part of a tweet. The Messages option displays direct messages sent to you by any of your followers. Remember that all the tweets that you or anyone else is posting are in the public domain for two weeks, with the exception of direct messages that can only be viewed by a specific addressee who is your follower. This could be used for one-to-one -one private conversation. If you want to send a direct message, click on the New Message button fill out the desired name and compose and send your message and close this dialog box. A search Twitter box is used to find Twitter users. Let's say you want to find out a handle for IBM. You would type IBM in this box and Twitter will display all handles that contain IBM. Select the one you're looking for and hit enter. Now we can see IBM main Twitter screen with the corresponding tweets from, to and about IBM. Clicking on your own picture will allow you to access your profile and settings. Clicking on view profile and then on edit profile will allow you to edit your profile information such as bio, location and current website as well as adding a profile and header photo. When you're done with changes, click Save Changes. This will bring us back to your profile. Clicking again on your own picture, you bring up the same dialog box allowing you to change your settings. From here, you can change your personal information as well as manage your passwords and set up other options. Next, there is Tweet button. By clicking on it, we will bring up the interface for creating our tweets. 
To compose your tweet, just start typing your message, up to 140 characters. Twitter will tell you how many characters are left. If you do not want that tweet, just cancel this dialog box by clicking on an X symbol. Let's click Home again. This will bring up our default Twitter screen. On the left below the menu stripe, my name and my handle are displayed along with statistics reflecting my Twitter activities. Tweets show the number of tweets I've sent since I started my account. Clicking on the number will display all those posts. The following will display the list of Twitter users you decided to follow and who agreed to be followed. Here again, clicking on the number will display these users. You can easily unfollow and follow them again by clicking here. Let's click home again. Followers will display users who requested to follow you and to whom you granted that access. Just below each profile picture, there's a very interesting statistics on recent trends on Twitter. This screen is sorted by the most popular hashtags being used by the users worldwide or in the community. You can select the location by clicking on change link. I will change the location to my hometown Jacksonville. The top trend hashtag in Jacksonville today is Gators. It turns out that countrywide the most popular trend is National Cat Day with around 140,000 tweets using this hashtag. Clicking on it will display all the tweets using this hashtag. These tweets are organized further into top, latest, photos, videos, etc. all about cats. This is a trivial example, but imagine the value of Twitter if a hashtag is used to describe a natural disaster or a terrorist attack. Then Twitter becomes a valuable source of information directly from the ground. We've seen this work during Hurricane Matthew, when people tweeted pictures and videos from many affected places in Florida where there are no journalists. Let's click the home button again. In the upper right corner, there is a box suggesting who you may want to follow. Twitter uses some algorithms to suggest possible connections as seen here. In addition, you can click on find friends to bring in more names by matching the addresses with your email system. In this case, clicking on search contact for Gmail will allow me to find out who is both on Twitter and in my Gmail list of contacts. We will end this segment by going back to the home screen.